All right, let's take a live look outside from the WJZ First Alert Mobile Weather Lab in Howard County. As we saw earlier with Paul, if you look from the roof, you see nothing, but at least the roads at this point are reasonably clear. Yes, a much Whoa, different there's scene. That other, there's that <laughs> other what we view. saw earlier, much different. All right. Let's go over to Derek. I mean, excuse me, to Steve Sosna in the First Alert Weather Center. Steve. Yeah, guys, and, uh, you know, the snow has been very polarizing. Either people really want it or they really don't want it. Uh, but the people that have wanted it have been salivating for something here. And uh, a lot of the kids will be able to play in this snow. And the good part is, if you're not a fan of the snow, it's not going to be a real hard snow to remove. But that being said, we haven't had snow in a couple of years. And based on how this morning's commute went, didn't go great with a dusting of snow and a lot of accidents. So we really want you to slow down your speeds. It's not a mega storm, but these messy storms can be just as problematic, if not more, than the major storms when everybody stays home. There's a live look at the inner harbor here from our Maryland Science camera. So here is the rest of today and into tomorrow morning, the timeline. So light to steady snow is returning across the area after our morning early round. Now the second round, which will be more consistent and steadier in intensity. I expect the evening hours to be a steady, moderate snow. So that's a little earlier than what we were thinking yesterday here. So that means if you're traveling, if you have friends and family traveling on this holiday, back here to the area, the road conditions will be slippery. Same deal here for tonight. Tomorrow morning, I definitely think there are school delays, probably widespread travel delays as well. Uh, and the snow will be slowly tapering off. The actual quit time of the snow, a little bit in question. It depends on where you live. Central Southern Maryland probably ends it pretty early in the day. That snow may linger north of Baltimore here through a good chunk of the morning. Light, steady snow, and it's sticking on all the surfaces here in and around Baltimore, and we're not even into the heart of the storm yet. As you can see, steadier snow south of the district, and it's interesting to watch this storm, how elongated it is. Here we are in Baltimore. You can follow this all the way down to Louisiana. It's like a hose. So we're right in the middle of that. So that's why we are getting that funnel of snow. Not a really intense storm, but it's a good setup here for a light, steady snow here for a number of hours. Behind it, this is round number two. That is what you got to prepare for in terms of the dangerous cold. Computer models continue to be consistent. Our forecast continues to be consistent, calling for two to four inches of snow. This will be all in the form of snow. We're not looking at any of this messy mix stuff here. Um, and so that will be through early tomorrow morning here to remove. Some places could get a little north of four inches here uh, because what we call the snow ratios are uh, quite high here. That means it's it's a fluffy snow, not that real heavy cement snow. I'm showing you the winter weather advisory for the state because a lot of you are traveling or have friends and family traveling. Winter weather advisory is in effect for the entire state except for Garrett County where four to eight inches of snow is likely and 50 mile per hour winds. That is another layer of extra difficulty in terms of the travel. So here's our future radar. All of our models showing something different. This is the Euro hourly model. I think this is doing the best job of handling the storm right now. So light snow over us right now. Four o'clock, you can see light snow continues. You're looking for the darker shades of blue, and you're not seeing anything extreme, but you are seeing some darker shades, meaning moderate intensity, and that's continuous. That's 11 o'clock, that's 3, 4 in the morning, and look how it just is slow to go here. There's no clean break. Normally in these storms, it's like a switch. You just flip it off. This one kind of just tapers down really slowly, so that's why I think tomorrow we are going to be dealing with that snow shower activity even into the morning hours, especially north. So breaking down your Tuesday morning, slippery travel continues here, travel and school delays. Afternoon hours, get rid of that snow. I'm telling you, clean it off your car, clean it off the sidewalks, because by Tuesday night, temperatures in Baltimore City will be headed down to 16, and the wind chills will be going down to the single digits to near zero. So here's your forecast here for tomorrow. Notice the wind chills and then the temperatures backing down later on in the day as that serious cold enters. And there you go, you can see that Arctic blast coming through the country. Good news, though, we'll end that with good news. If you don't like winter, the 18, 8 to 14 day outlook, way above average temperatures with them going back into the 50s. But we got a full week of winter with another potential storm on Friday. We'll see you on CBS News Baltimore streaming starting at 4 o'clock.